Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get market scanners using interactive brokers. Now this is not part of the iBrokers package, but after some digging, I found some useful wrappers that we can use from the developer's GitHub. So I'll leave you the links and you would just need to copy these into your script. Also, I think these scanners don't work after market hours as I was trying to run a scanner for stocks. Nothing was returning, but I was able to get some data for futures, but only when the market was open. So I'm not 100% sure if the scanner for stocks is no longer available or if I was just getting errors because the market was closed but I'll show you an example how you would run it for both stocks and futures and according to the documentation here are some examples on how to use the scanner so I'll show you how to get this first one and one for the most active futures so here in our R script we just need to require interactive brokers and make sure that the workstation is open and connected to the port listed on your script. Now from lines five through 173, these are all copied from the developer's GitHub. And I'll go ahead and post the link on where to find these under the video's description. In order to get the scanner to work, we need to build a scanner subscription using TWS subscription, which will get passed into require scanner subscription. And this will actually get the data. All the rest of the functions are just helper functions. And for the stocks, you can fill in the parameters that you need but as i mentioned previously i'm not sure if this no longer works or it didn't work for me since i'm running this after hours but essentially i just wanted to get a scanner for stocks using the scan code listing a parameter for market cap the last price and the volume the scanner that did work for me was the futures specifically for the US to retrieve the top futures by percentage gain. So I'll show you an example on how to run this. We just need to run all these wrappers and require the package. We will then connect to the workstation via port. We need to build our scanner subscription. So I'll run the futures one. And then finally, just require the scanner subscription by passing in our connection and the subscription we want. So I'll go ahead and run that. And if we take a look at scan, we get the ranks, the symbol, the expiration, no strike since this is for futures, the exchange, the currency, the local name, the market name, and trading class. So we get a total of 50 entries all by rank. We do not get the percentage gain or any other useful information, but I guess from the table we can always look up the symbols and retrieve a quote or market data to see how they're trading. Well guys, this concludes the video. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.